So Uber warns drivers against avoiding disadvantaged areas, right? Ride hailing companies said some drivers were using new policy to turn down low income customers. Now, let me elaborate just a little bit on that. Firstly, I want to remind all of these gig companies and Uber and their CEO, right? We are independent contractors. We make the choice when we want to drive, where we want to drive, at what price. L let me repeat that for you in case you don't understand the definition of independent contractor, Dara Koshoshawi. We decide when to drive, where we want to drive, under what conditions, under what pay. Otherwise, we don't accept, right? Now, if we decide to go, not go into certain areas, right? And I pose the same question back at these executives. Do you guys get in your Rolls Royces, your Ferraris, your Mercedes, your BMWs, your Land Rovers? Do you drive into these areas, right? Simple question. Answer is no. Why? Because you may get shot, you may get robbed, you may get stabbed, right? So people take care of people. Drivers take care of drivers. You, the driver, you take care of yourself. You, the CEO of Uber, you make your decisions that keep you safe, right? You know a lot about that. Now, let's read about the article. So everything again has a threat attached to it by Uber, right? And then, then they wonder why we get so upset. Um, <clears throat> Uber has warned, right? Bad, bad little boy, bad girl. Uber has warned some drivers in California. It's not just California, ladies and gentlemen, that they may be kicked off the platform. See that threat? We'll kick you off the platform if you are not willing to take this dangerous trip. We'll kick you off the platform if you are not willing to take this dangerous trip. That is not the definition of an independent contractor. Dara Kosher Shaw. Right? So let's carry on. I don't know why this stupid little screen pops up. But uh, we will carry on. Um, so Uber warned some drivers in California that they would be kicked off the platform. I apologize. I've got to get rid of uh, this guy here. Bugging me. Just jumped right into the middle of my article. I do not know how they get to decide. But anyway, here we go. Um, for avoiding customers in disadvantaged areas, after the company said... Some were using a new booking policy to circumvent low-income patrons. Starting in January, Uber made it possible for drivers in the state to see the destination of a ride before deciding whether or not to take the business. Right, so this was a major, major complaint. Major complaint for, for years. You're not showing us the destination. Now they show us the destination, semi right? Sort of like partially. And now they are trying to rescind that offer. They're trying to take it down again. So no more destination for you. Interesting. Uh, before deciding whether or not to take the business, part of an effort to strengthen its argument that its workers are independent and therefore should not get employee benefits. But the company has confirmed that it has had to warn an unspecified number of drivers against avoiding areas that largely comp comprised of low-income residents, minority residents, and or other residents who may belong to certain disadvantaged communities, right? No matter how you decide to interpret that phrase, the bottom line is drivers around the country take care of themselves. If they feel like it's not a good idea or a smart decision to go into a certain area. They don't because they want to come out alive, Derek Oshoshawi. 
for the same reason you don't drive in your Mercedes or your Rolls Royce into these areas. And when Mr. Koshishawi does decide to go somewhere, it's always with a security entourage. We don't have a security entourage. We are a sitting duck in our vehicles, period. Over the years, ride sharing has improved access to transportation for many people who previously struggled to get a reliable ride uh, to and from their homes simply because of where they lived, Uber said in a statement. That's why we are closely monitoring the impact of recent product changes we've made in California due to a new state law. And that's basically, in other language, that's a threat. We will soon be taking that away from you. We are monitoring it and we will decide a little bit later. So uh, ride sharing platforms have a long standing discrimination problem with Black riders facing longer wait times and more frequent ca cancellations. And that was said by Sarah Hussein Electronic Frontier Foundation. The company said that overall it had not seen a pattern of drivers avoiding disadvantaged areas, that it, that it would remain vigilant and keep a close eye on this issue across the state, across the state, across the countries, right? It's the same formula. Every area, every city has its dangerous areas. You ain't going to go drive there, period. Dara Koshishawi is not going to go drive there. David Risha is not going to go drive there. Tony Zhu is not going to take his family for a meal, right? So um, Uber declined to say how many drivers had received a location discrimination warning or if any had been banned or suspended as a result. If you've received one of those warnings, send me a screenshot. Let me show everyone what it looks like, send it over. You don't have to attach your name. I will not mention your name, but um, let's just look at that screenshot that they are sending out. This outcome was fairly predictable, said Sarah Hussein, an attorney with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, studies have shown that rideshare platforms have a long-standing discrimination problem with black riders facing longer wait times and more frequent cancellations. Civil rights advocates have proposed several measures such as anonymizing the amount of rider data that a driver can see. A Habamari, a driver who received a warning from Uber over behavior perceived to be discriminatory, said he disputed its algorithm's determination. It's ironic because me and myself, I'm considered low income, said Amari, a 24-year-old Yemeni American. He said he received the notice after a day of driving in Oakland, a city neighbor neighboring San Francisco. I took a lot of rides from low income areas. If you want to call it that, he said, I did a bunch of rides and then I rejected to because they were really short trips. The amount of money that I'm going to make from those trips is not going to be worth the amount of time I'm going to spend on it. Thank you for speaking the truth, right? It's a non paying trip. I'm not going to take it. I'm an independent contractor. Uber did not offer a comment on Amari's situation, which was first brought to light by rideshare blogger Christian Perea. Outside California, Uber drivers who reject too many trips, for whatever reason, risk losing access to certain perks, such as discounts on roadside breakdown assistance, right? So they get punished. And the ultimate punishment is a wrongful deactivation. They kick you off because they don't like your driving pattern. They don't like your decisions, right? That's why a lot of these drivers come to us at gigrocket.com, right, where we help them get back on the platform after the wrongful deactivations. Uber had previously said that drivers in California would not see any impact from rejecting trips in general. Right. We were promised we would not see any impact if we rejected it. Now we are being punished again. So it's always, always the complete opposite. But it, it, is, it has now acknowledged it did implement measures to mitigate issues caused by a very small percentage of drivers cancelling or rejecting an overwhelming number of trips. These measures, which a spokesman would not specify, have since been dropped. In an earnings call last month, Chief Executive Derek Oshawi said the level of service had got worse in California. Really? So he's blaming us. He's blaming us that the level of service got worse. The reason why it got worse, Dara Koshishawi, is because you do not understand what's going on on street level. 
You don't have the people that have tested it, right? You just write programs with your engineers. You come up with fancy ideas. You do not go and test it on street level. You simply implement an idea and then, you know, depending how the drivers react, you either punish them or, hey, if it's good, we're making more money. You keep the idea. That's how you roll. Um, with wait times increasing because of changes, prices in California were compared with the rest of the country. Now, wait times have increased. Why? Why do you think they have increased? Because we are cherry picking, right? We're independent contractors. We decide what pays and what doesn't. If it doesn't pay, we avoid it. If we can cherry pick a trip, they'll have to wait. That's why these wait times, because we say no, 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 yes. No, 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 yes. No, 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 yes. Right? It's just cherry picking time all day long. That, that is why a driver is not going to be active for as many hours as they did five, six years ago. Five, six years ago, people were accepting far more trips because we were paid more decently. Right now, we're at our lowest, most atrocious earnings. They are to blame for the situation getting worse. Never ever point the finger at the driver. You are responsible, Dara Kostra Shawi, executives. You are responsible for the shitty service because you are creating conditions that drivers will absolutely not accept. Unless they're desperados, they'll take it, right? But majority of the drivers are not gonna take your nonsense any longer. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comments. Um, this is not just a California thing. I know that uh, for fact, it's not just a California thing. And um, do share do share your story if you want to contribute here. Um, and again, just concentrate on the money trips. Cherry pick, cherry pick, cherry pick all day long. Sergio teaches it. I teach it. It's the only way you're going to make some money, right? And if they have to wait a little bit longer because we are not going to accept every crappy offer, so shall it be. The company needs to make the changes. Be safe out there.